So John, please tell me a little bit about this new product we have. Uh, so the Omni is a spherical solution. And what that really means is that each of these cameras is capturing an individual field of view, uh, roughly about 120 degrees. And then they all get stitched together and combined to create one full 360 degree experience. When you say stitched, how hard is that process? And does it happen actually in the actual rig? Uh, no, it doesn't actually happen in the cameras. The cameras are all controlled by a primary camera. So if I power up the first camera, it's going to send a signal to power up all the secondary cameras. And then the thing it's going to do is send the settings from this primary camera to all these secondary cameras. And what it's also doing is sending metadata. So when I send that metadata to all those cameras and I go in to record, it's actually going to set a recording that will then be used in post-production where I can stitch those basically together automatically based on that metadata. So what would I have a special software to stitch things together and what's that process like? Yeah, so the great news is in uh, this system, because it's actually synchronized, you'd import the files into the software. It's called the Omni Importer. It's a dedicated software for the product. And what's great about it is, again, it reads that metadata information, and then what it effectively does is automatically stitches it for you. Uh, what's also great is it's got some added functionality where it'll actually not only create a uh, final product for you, but it'll also give you a project file that you can then use and fine tune in a more advanced software that we also offer called Color Autopana Video Pro. So once I have it and I fine tune it in Auto Video Panel Pro, what's my next step? How do I put together my edits? Well, what a lot of people will do is they'll take the uh, exported items from Auto Piano Video Pro and they'll put them in a software like Adobe Premiere. And you can edit it just like a regular movie clip. And then back to back, you'll cut them together and you might add graphics and effects. And we actually make uh, Adobe Premiere plugins where you can add things like graphics and make changes if you want to to the horizon and positioning all inside of Adobe Premiere. And then you could export right out of that application when you're finished and then watch the content on something like YouTube or our own GoPro VR platform. So the video format file is a basic MP4 then? Yes. It's just an MP4 that has unique metadata that things like uh, YouTube and Facebook and other applications that read 360 degree content can actually use so that when you have something like a phone or a headset, it actually understands that information and uses things like the accelerometer to position the, the information as it plays it back. Thank you very much. Yep. That's amazing.